Job is just a job. That's what these layoffs are showing. Did you guys see this LinkedIn article where they really emphasize the point that you shouldn't have unwavering loyalty to companies? Because let's face it, they don't have any loyalty towards employees. These layoffs are showing that you can be really committed to a company. You can work 70 to 80 hours a week. But if growth forecasts change or the department that you're in is a department that they see as a cost and a cost that they don't want to incur, then you will get cut. I think the old ideology of working for a company and being loyal to them no matter what is just going out the window. I love how this article talks about building relationships outside of work. Believe it or not, you can have relationships with friends and family, and those relationships matter way more than work. Work is just a component of life, and I think that this is a struggle, particularly for startups, that demands so much from people. But it's not just startups. If you get into higher-level roles uh, with Fortune 100 companies, I know people at Amazon that work so much. They'll work 70 to 80 hours a week, and they're getting paid well, which is their justification for it. But again, as soon as the tides change, as soon as the growth forecast changes, you're cut. I'm not saying that you should be lazy in your job and not be committed. You should definitely be committed. And while you're working, you should work hard. If you want to grow in life, hard work is required. So yes, you should be committed to growing and learning. What I am saying, though, is skipping vacations and like skipping important times with your family in the name of work needs to end. And I really love that Gen Z is ushering in this. They're talking about things that other people didn't talk about. They're talking about work-life balance. They're talking about not giving away your whole life to a company. The same company that will cut you as soon as you're seen as a cost. I love these conversations, but we're really at the beginning. I really hope that as things recover and as companies start hiring people again, that they will take on articles like this and understand that treating people well means caring about their whole lives and realizing that they're not just an asset or an item line on a piece of paper that's an expense, uh, but we're humans. And when you say that you're going to treat people well, it means caring about things like their mental health, their well-being. Um, I, but I, again, I think we're a long way off from that, but it's these conversations, and really it's us as employees, uh, not just having unwavering loyalty and believing that the companies are really out there for our good, when we all know in business it's about profit, it's about making money for shareholders. It's the number one rule of finance. Create shareholder wealth.